so many questions I find myself asking. Pineapple on pizza, medium rare or well done steak? Did I change my underwear today? Does CBD belong in beard oil? Today we're going to answer those questions and more. Actually, no, we're just going to talk about uh, CBD in uh, beard oil and beard butter. We're also going to talk about everybody's favorite scent, everybody's favorite fall scent that is launching, coming back, making a re reappearance, and saving us from our dreaded summer blues, if you get into that kind of thing. What's going on, everybody? I am Tyson of Faithfully Bearded, and today we're answering all those questions and more. And we're gonna start, and we're gonna show you the company that we're reviewing, and it is Fable Beard Company. That's right, does that, does that handsome feller look familiar? That handsome feller looks familiar, doesn't it? That is right, you have so many different options with Fable, and I'm gonna put them up on the Faithful Ranker score so you can go to the website, your one-stop shop. A lot of people have discount codes, a lot of people have affiliate codes. We gotta keep them in our notes and copy and paste them, and there's, why not just have a website that you can bookmark? So go on over, faithfullybearded.com, first and foremost. Bookmark the FRS score and discount. You're gonna have a list of all the reviews I've done. You're gonna have the discount codes for the company, a link to the review, and a link to the company's website. Now, Fable is going up on that list somewhere today. And then on Sunday, the wizard is gonna join me in a live stream and we are going to release for the second time everyone's favorite fall scent, a pumpkin spice beard oil. And it is the savior. One of the best selling scents of the year last year. People are dying to get this. So we're gonna bring that back out on Sunday and y'all gonna want it. I know there's a couple people that are ready like, get my order and get my order and he's getting them prepared. We're also gonna talk about CBD oil as well. So the first thing that I like to do is start with beard oils. Now, Fable has a couple different line of oils, correct? They have the regular lineup of oils and then they have a CBD lineup. Now, you go to their website, you're kind of perusing, browsing all around, you see there's characters, you see there's stories, you see there's lineups, you see that there's additions and there's a CBD side. There's so many different things to his website, but it's still found nice and easy. So the particular scent that I'm gonna be talking about today in the non-CBD beard oil is the Savior. Because this one is coming back on Sunday, I wanted to get up in here, talk about the Savior and, and the oil as well. So when you get, talk about ingredients, you have uh, coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba, 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 however you wanna say it, uh, argan oil, and, and uh, some sweet almond oil in there, some fragrance oils, all right? You have all that in here, ready to go, ready to get up in your beard. So you have all that in into the normal lineup. This is gonna be a medium to a uh, medium heavy type of oil. It's a, it's a little bit of a thicker oil. It goes in, the scents smell really good. Every single one I've tried, uh, I have I have my favorites. I don't really want to talk about scents, but I feel like there's something for everybody. The Scribe is well known as like a chocolate coffee scent. Uh, the Saviors, the pumpkin spice scent. There's a shark scent. There's a teacher scent. There's a uh, 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 there's so many different ones. Crimson, Captain Crimson. They all have stories. They all f fly together. So. You have that. You got the six to eight hours in the beard for the scent for me, um, and I think that's adequate. I think that eight to 10 is my preference, but six to eight is adequate. Then you have a CBD line of beard products. And so the one that I'm gonna show you today, because he's been recently releasing quite a few, the latest one I got is called the Roaster. Now this is a coffee roaster, put two and two together. And what you have is the same carrier blend in here, but you have 50 milligrams of pure CBD oil. Now. That goes in to the bottle as basically like an isolate and it mixes into the oil. 
Um, and then you obviously, if, if you've never applied beard oil before, what you do is you, you twist the cap off, you press the little squeezer, you pull it out, and then you drop it in your hand. You rub it around, you make it nice and warm in your hand, and then you smell it. And then you rub it all up in your beard and, and you relax. You see what it smells like. You're like, dang, am I at Starbucks? Dang. So like, imagine the roaster. It's like, it, to me, it's like a coffee bean scent but I think it has a little bit of sweetness to it. So go to Starbucks or any smaller like coffee joint, go to a place where they, they roast coffee beans, sit there for an hour, type away on your computer, play on your Twitter, do some tick and then go out to your car, stick your head out the window, get some fresh air and then smell your clothes. That's kind of what it smells like. It smells like you've hung out in the coffee roastery for a while. Is that it? We call it a roastery, a coffee roastery. I mean, it is the roaster. So I guess it's a roastery. We're gonna call it a roastery, not to be confused with anything else, -ery. just a roastery. All right, and so, and then this has CBD in there. CBD has a ton of different benefits uh, for your beard, uh, for your skin. Uh, there's a lot of topical benefits, but the one thing that I really, 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 really want to make clear CBD in a beard oil, topically, is gonna have no form of anything to do with a drug test. You will not fail a drug test. All right. So, and, and I mean, I would know. I'm tested all the time for work. My work can test me anytime. I've never failed one. So, so there you have uh, the oil. Again, you have characters on each one. You have stories with them. You have different scent profiles, but you got this amazing artwork where you have an artist that comes in, draws out these stories, makes these up for him. Just super amazing. You got a nice label on here. You have the ingredients. You have the, the scent profile, which I really enjoy. Uh, you have so many uh, things done right on this label and bottle that I actually buy all of these, whether the scent profile sounds good or not. I buy them all mainly for my collection and you can see it on the wall behind me or maybe you can't but i have the whole lineup because this art is worth having to me and then you have a beard balm but i mean i i like to say balm lives still matter balm lives in the summer i don't use balm in the summer i use it in the winter uh, if i use it at all um, but he does have a nice bomb. The bomb is in a two ounce tin. You got the same artwork and you also have uh, a nice medium hole bomb. All right. So if, if you're into bombs, you can go to the website. You can check out um, all the bombs. I think it does what bomb is supposed to do. And I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, go check out if you use bombs, check out the scent profiles. You're going to like the bomb. But then you have butter. All right. So Fable's got butter. Fable butter. Fable, Fable butter. Yeah, I was trying to think of something cool. And it comes up in a container like this. Again, you still have that amazing artwork. You still have the amazing artwork all the way around. You're talking about mango butter, cocoa butter, cocoa butter, and lipe nut butter, shea butter, and a little bit of beeswax just to hold it all together. But this is the most dense. Ooh, that is so good. Yeah. This is the most dense, almost pure butter that you can get all right so it does come with this topper on it like that and what you do is if you're really good you can just take it and go whoosh, and it all comes off i can't do that i always end up oh my gosh i did super good so when you can see it it kind of comes a little bit sometimes it's a little bit grainy again the heat the weather does that butter needs to be cooled down at a certain temperature to prevent the graininess or the grittiness as we might call it. So when it gets shipped and it goes through the postal service and sits in that tin truck and then goes and sits in your mailbox and it melts down and then you bring it in your house and you just kind of let it sit, it's not cooling down and solidifying back up at the right temperature to prevent that. So what you can do is you can throw it in the microwave or in, in a pot of water on the stove or something like that to get it to melt down. Now be careful if you throw it in the microwave that sometimes there's like foil or sometimes there's metal and you could go and spark all over. Um, unless you have a cool microwave that can take metal. I'm just telling you, I have a metal rack in mine. And, and then throw it in the freezer uh, when you're done or even the fridge, but I, I tend to throw it in the freezer because I'm impatient. Uh, and that'll take away the grittiness of it. Uh, to me, the grittiness doesn't really bother bother me because you just put it in your hand. You know, you scoop some out, you put it in your hand, you go like this, and now all the grit's gone. 
and I have an amazing, I'm just gonna rub this all over my body. I'm gonna smell like I just came out of the roastery today. And you have uh, your amazing butter that you can put in. Now I really tend to like this butter as a full body thick butter. Um, again, there's no carrier oils or anything like that in here. Um, fragrances, there's a little bit of beeswax just to hold it together, not a lot of wax. Um, you get a lot of the, the hold that it does provide straight from that it's, it's pure butters. It is pure butters and a little bit of beeswax. Um, the scent profile is right on point. You don't smell a lot of that uh, scenty uh, of the butters or anything. And that's an improvement he's made over time because when his butters first launched, they were really butter scented. And now the fragrances, uh, he, he's refined it. He's got it going a lot better. And so I'm really happy with that. He also has a co-wash, which is one of the best co-washes in the game um, it leaves your beard feeling soft like it's supposed to do uh, the scent profiles are good i don't necessarily like the scribe in a co-wash just because when i use and realistically i've had two different scents from him and, and so i'm just referring to the scribe because you you put it in and it lingers like if you're not wearing the scribe that day i wouldn't co-wash with the scribe unless you don't mind a little coffee smell mixed in your beard with whatever oil you're going to use that day all right um, that's just my two cents. And then you have the company aspect of things. You got an, an amazing owner. You got a growing company. You got somebody that participates in the in the community. You can see them on live streams. I wish you'd jump into some of us smaller guys' stuff a little bit more often. And you know, I, I see him with Dave and I see him with Mo, which is awesome. That's Bearded Motivation and Mo the Bearded Shark on YouTube if you wanna look them up as well. Uh, he's made appearances with them. But he's gonna be on this channel right here on Sunday night. Because we have a live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Time where we're going to re-release the, the Savior. We're going to have a special. We're going to have all sorts of fun things going on. We're going to find out a little bit more about that Titan over there, uh, Mr. Colin over at Fable. We're going to find out a little bit more about him, uh, which I'm super pumped for. And then when we talk about the company aspect of things, like you just have to say, like, uh, the website. Like, how would you even improve the website? It is a very educated, thorough, thought-out website. How do you change the labeling and the artwork? He's got a designer that designs other labels. So like when I think about like what I would change about the company, these characters have stories. There's all new characters. They have names. He's innovative. He's got CBD going, um, which I called last year, by the way, that CBD would become a thing. Um, he's got uh, washes. He's got co-washes. He's got uh, butters, bombs, oils, swag that you can purchase. He's coming out with posters. Um, there's so many things that he could do with this company and take it. It's like a real experience with the company. Uh, plus, you can go on there and you can create your own character and have your own mug put on a bottle of beard oil and help pick out the scents. I had a good experience with it. I think I was his first customer to ever do it. I had a great experience with it. And I, I just think that the Savior needs to be in the Legend series at this point. I mean, it is a legendary scent, and I think it needs to go into that legendary category in the, the series. So then what I do is I fill out my little form, I crunch my numbers and I fill out my form and I come up with an FRS score. And when I figure out the FRS score for Fable, I come in at a 9.44, which I take that down to a 9.4 because I only go to the first decimal place. So you're at a 9.4, which I believe is tied for the number one beer company on the Faithful Ranker score. And the reasoning behind that, there's so many different things, and that's what I love about the Faithful Ranker score is, does Fable have my favorite scents? No. Does it have the best feeling beard to me? No. But when you put in the whole aspect of marketing and what a company consists of, when I rank companies, I rank the whole company everything that they consist of and and fable is growing it's got so many things it can do amazing artwork the whole company as a whole is is a success and something that um, anybody can get behind supporting i believe and i know i definitely can so i can handle that maybe they don't have my favorite scent maybe they don't have my best feeling beard but they do have amazing feeling beard and the cbd is a step above I really like the way the CBD feels, uh, what it's done with my beard. Have I experienced a ton of great things that I wanna come out here in laundry list and say, this could help with your beard? No, I don't. Because I would much rather just tell you that it feels really good. I would rather you look up the benefits to CBD topically for yourself because I can sit here and tell you something. You can go look on Google that for yourself. You could see a different article that says something different, and now we're we're like we're like butting heads over opinions, you know. And it doesn't make sense. There's research behind CBD. There's a reason Colin's using it. He's got the the studies to back it up from the CBD supplier. So, 
there's reasons that people use it. I tend to use it and like it. It feels really good for me. I see a lot of other people that tend to like it and it works really good for them. So go ahead on over. If you want to try it out, hit it up. Fable Beard Company. You can use the code Faith Faith15 at checkout to save yourself 15%. Again, we're also having the live stream on Sunday. And there's some amazing things going on over here at Faithfully Bearded as well. Faithfully Bearded. Faithfully Bearded. What do you think of when you think of Faithfully Bearded? I want you to put that in the comments down below because there's some big changes coming. We got our website revamp. We got the app. We got a team member. Whoa. Maybe we have a team member coming. Not 100% sure. We got marketing, we got more reviews, we got tech stuff, we got live streams, we have the Titan series. The Titan series, if you're not familiar with that, Eric Banholds was on last week. This week, uh, we have Spence from Live Beard, and that's later today. We're gonna have Colin from Fable. We're hopefully gonna have Lux from Luxurious Bastard, Mike from Detroit Grooming. We have so many great people coming on to join us that I hope you guys can be there as well. We're growing, we're growing this community, we're growing this channel, and with this channel, it's all thanks to you, and thank you to my moderators and everybody that watches this channel. So until I talk to you guys again soon, it's Tyson with Faithfully Bearded. Be you, be bearded, and God bless. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, that thumbs up, and that bell. Turn on all your notifications so you know when we come out with new content. You can also find us at faithfullybearded.com, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on your favorite podcast network. Just search Faithfully Bearded on your favorite podcast app. God bless.